Um, Nadine has just returned from a rather grueling uh, trip to the UK where the uh, publicity for No Time Like the Present has been remarkable. I'm not sure how many of you have seen Boyd Tonkin's review um, in the, the Telegraph or um, Gillian Slovo's review in The Guardian, but the book is receiving massive acclaim. One of the things that I like a great deal about Nadine's work is the extent to which identity has always played a key part. And I would like to quote something that she says, again and again, when I'm interviewed or find myself in encounters with other people abroad, the burning question is, what is happening to whites? And again and again, my genuinely surprised response is, what about blacks? Don't you believe there are challenges to be met in their new lives? In applauding uh, probably our greatest writer, and uh, I did not mention the prizes that she's won because I think you are all aware of the honors that she has received, whether it's the Nobel, the book, and many of the other ones. And Nadine Kodima, I really salute you and thank you very much. Into this form of reality, she drove him. The street they reached didn't look like a familiar fast-paced city. The displacement of functions was the home stage set struck. No Time Like the Present follows the fortunes of one family and their friends in a Johannesburg suburb between the mid-90s and the end of 2009, with the populist Jacob Zuma in style as the Democratic state's third president and the World Cup eagerly awaited. Nadine Gordiman is a South African writer and political activist. She was awarded in 1991 with the Nobel Prize in Literature. 